Hi guys, welcome back. It's Thursday, so I'm back with another video. If you're new here, my name is Melissa Crafter. I teach you how to make epoxy free tumblers as well as other crafts. In this week's video, I'm going to be announcing the winner to my 10K YouTube subscriber giveaway that I announced two weeks ago. And I'm also going to be showing you how I blinged out this Starbucks cold cup lid. I also blinged out the bottom part of this cup. So I'm going to be showing you how I did that. This was such a fun way to add a pop of bling to my Starbucks cold cup. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask that in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Just a couple seconds right after this clip, I'm going to go ahead and announce the giveaway winner. So drum roll, please. So the winner for my 10K YouTube subscriber giveaway, who's going to be winning a complete Crystal Act Tumblr kit is Pixie Dust Crafts. Huge, huge congratulations to you. And thank you to everyone who entered. Don't worry if you didn't win, I will have future giveaways. So I started off by sanding my lids. You want to be sure to sand them. That way your rhinestones have a good surface to adhere well to. I started off by sanding the side of the lid. If you've ever seen um, a Starbucks cold cup on the sides, they do have these lines. So I went in, in with 150 grit sanding paper just to be sure to get in there in between the lines. And I went ahead and tried to sand that as best as I could. And then I also used the 150 grit sanding paper to sand the top and also um, use the use 400 grit sanding paper to go ahead and smooth that out. Once I'm done sanding the side, I do go in and begin sanding the top part of the lid. Once you are done sanding your lid, it is going to look foggy, but don't worry, as soon as you add your rhinestones, you won't be able to tell. I'm also going to go ahead and sand the bottom part of this Starbucks code cup since I am going to be adding rhinestones there. I do have a video on how I added this design, this lemon design to my cup and how I sealed my design with bright tone. I'll go ahead and link it right here on the right hand side of this frame as well as in the video description. So here are the materials that you're going to want to have. You're going to want to have your prepped lid. Your rhinestones, these I purchased off Etsy from a shop called Bling That and That. They are 5mm jelly rhinestones. You're going to want to have a wax pen to pick up your rhinestones with. I purchased this one on Amazon. You're going to want to have a tray to put your rhinestones in. And then you're going to want to have your glue. This glue here is my go-to rhinestone glue. I go ahead and put some of the glue in this needle tip um, squeeze bottle that I purchased off Amazon. I'll go ahead and link everything that I use down in the video description, but I love these little needle tip bottles. Um, it'll give you a precise um, line when you do add your glue to your lid. So here I already have my glue added on to my needle tip little squeeze bottle. I'm going to start adding my rhinestones here in the first circle. And I'm going to start right here. That way I can have a guide and I'm going to work inward. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the outer circle and work my way in. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the side. So I'm going to go ahead and add um a line of glue just to go ahead and begin adding my rhinestones like i mentioned i'm going to go ahead and start at the outer line that way i can have that little crease as a guide 
and it'll help me align my rhinestones um, straight. Using my wax pen, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the rhinestones that are facing up and place them down on my lid. Definitely do start off with a small line of glue, um, especially if this is your first time doing any type of rhinestone work. Just start off with a small line of glue and then start with placing your rhinestones down. That way you kind of get used to adding the glue, placing down the rhinestones and picking them up and placing them onto your lid. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and just continue adding the rhinestones. You wanna just go ahead and add them um, until you fill up that row and then start off with the next row. glue does dry slow so you do have time um, just in case you do mess up or you want to fix a rhinestone that you accidentally placed wrong you do have time to go ahead and move them around so here I'm going to continue adding rhinestones until I fill up that inner circle Here on this middle circle I did add five rows of rhinestone I know some people only add four it's totally up to you um, depending on how big your rhinestones are and the look that you're going for but I did add five rows of rhinestones Now that my inner circle is filled, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the outer circle. I am going to start um, here at the edge of the outer circle and work my way around and then towards the middle of the lid. I'm doing this that way I can use my thumb here to kind of guide me um, to placing the rhinestones um, as straight as I could. If you can see right here, I'm using my thumb to kind of push the rhinestones to where they're not hanging off of the lid. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to go all the way around um, using my finger to kind of guide me. Then I'm just going to go ahead and work my way inward towards the middle of the lid until this whole spot here is filled with rhinestones. Here on this outer part of the lid, I did do four rows of rhinestones. Keep in mind that this will only be the same if you're using 5mm size rhinestones. If your rhinestones are smaller, obviously you'll have more rows of rhinestones. So now that the top part of my lid is filled, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the sides. I do add two rows here on the side of the lid. 
and I did start off at the bottom and then I worked my way around and then did one more row of rhinestones right on top of that one row. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add rhinestones to the bottom part of this cup. This is optional. You don't, definitely don't have to do this part. It just depends on what you're going for and how you want your cup to look. You can do the lid alone. You could even add the rhinestones to the lid on a bare Starbucks cup without no design. Here I already had this Starbucks cup made. Um, I went ahead and added this lemon design and then I went ahead and sealed the design with Bright Tone from the Crystal Lack Company and um, now I just wanted to add a extra bling on the cup. So if you are wanting to learn how to add designs to your Starbucks cold cups and how to seal them, I do have the video um, kind of like a part one where I do add this design, this lemon design to this cup and then seal it with bright tone. I'll go ahead and link it down below like I mentioned earlier. Um, I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. So here's how the lid turned out. I absolutely love how the rhinestones added that pop of bling that I was looking to add to my cup. Really quick, I wanted to thank you guys so much to everyone who entered my 10K YouTube subscriber giveaway. Um, definitely, I will have more giveaways coming soon. I thank each and every one of you who has been subscribed to my channel since the very beginning or any new subscribers that I've got in recently i thank you guys all so much thank you guys for following me along on my tumblr journey i appreciate every one of you so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already thank you